It's been two and a half years already since the city created the Albuquerque Community Safety Department, or ACS as we call it. The whole point was to help respond to 911 calls, especially in mental health situations. Well, now that group is asking the city to recognize its workers as first responders. ACS workers have backgrounds in behavioral and mental health, also many of them social services, but they only respond to nonviolent and non-medical related calls. Recently, though, they unionized, and this new ask is part of that move. Spencer Schott spoke to union leaders about their effort to get the same recognition and benefits, for that matter, as police officers and paramedics. ACS workers have recently joined the Communication Workers of America Local 7076 Union, and now they're hopeful that with this new collective bargaining agreement that they'd be able to get more benefits as city workers. It took us about two years, and we started from the beginning looking for a union and, and trying to establish what that would look like for our responders since the department is so new. Before joining the union, Crystal Little says it was odd to her and her co-workers that they didn't receive the same benefits as other city employees who responded to 911 calls. At first, she wrote it off as just being a part of a new department. But years later, ACS workers are still not considered to be first responders. And why is it important that through this union that they will be classified as a first responder. It would make it easier for us to collect some of the benefits that other first responders have, such as overtime, differentials, um, as well as protections when employees get injured or assaulted on the job. Last August, an ACS worker was shot by a high-powered BB gun near Coronado Park when responding to a distress call. They didn't believe the shooting was related to the call, and that only further complicated the situation. The individual was um, taken to get medical care, but we're looking at a process for what that would actually look like for incidents. Um, there's currently not a process in place, and that really does vary from incident to incident and employee to employee. Little is hopeful with the union's help and the collective bargaining agreement, they'll be able to establish standard operating procedures while still accomplishing the original goals of ACS. Well, the fight isn't over. We keep moving forward. A lot of what we were doing was external organizing and really making sure that people knew that we needed this. And now it's going to be a lot of internal organizing and really working with our responders and working with our administration. Spencer Schott, KOB4. Now, in the proposed budget from Mayor Tim Keller, he wants more than $19 million for ACS services and to support 131 full-time positions.